In this video, we'll try to analyze the data in the form of a map. Whatever data is given in the Excel file, I'll be converting this into a map representation. Let us see that. So what is the example I'll be showing you? I have the database which is given here, the Excel file which is database. I have names of all the states and union territories, total 29 states, 7 union territories, 36 names are given. Now this data is all about the wildlife and the national parks. What are the number of national parks in India state-wise? What is the area of national parks state-wise? What are different wildlife sanctuaries number-wise and the area-wise? If you observe here, wildlife sanctuaries area-wise. This data I have in the form of Excel. If I want to see the same data in the form of India map, these are the names of states of all India. So if I want to see in the form of India map, how do I do that? With the help of Tableau, it is very easy. 30 seconds and you can see any data at one go. Let us see that. So I'll just go to the Excel that is the Tableau file which is given here. First of all, I have created a file, empty blank file which is given here, India map wildlife sanctuaries and I have created different sheets. If you observe here, number of national parks, national parks area state wise. So first of all, I need to connect to my data itself. So I'll just click on this connect to data Excel and I'll select this national parks and wildlife. So you can download this file below this video itself and I've got the data. So I'll just go back to this number of national parks which are given here. Now when you import the data or when you connect the data, first of all, if you see states and union territories, it is in the form of a text. I don't want in the form of text, I want in the form of geographical data. So what I can do is, I can just click on this ABC, that, that's the data type which is given, go to geographic role and you can select this option as state and province. Now it has been converted into state and province. Now simply you have to just double click on this place and you can see there's a map which is given here. The map is not accurate because it is not able to find out. If you observe at the bottom, it says 36 unknown. The reason is 29 states, 7 union territories, total comes as 36, it is saying as 36 unknown. Why unknown? Let us find out the root cause. I'll just click on this 36 unknown, I'll get a dialog box. It gives you many options. Do you want to edit the location? You want to filter the data or do you want to show the data of the default position? So now what I can do is, I can just click on this edit locations and I'll find out what is the root cause of this. Now it says 36 issues which are given and your data is this one. If you see your data in your Excel file, it is given in this format, whereas the Tableau is not able to recognize the locations. What is the reason? 36, all the state it is not able to recognize. The reason is, I am trying to find out these are the states of India. I should find out in the country part which is India, but here it is given as United States. So I'll just click on this United States, select this fixed, click on this place and manually type as India from this place, select this one and I'll click outside. Now out of 36, now there are 34 which are solved, two issues which are left. Why they are left? Let's see that. So it says A and Islands, A and N Islands. It is actually Andaman and Nicobar. The full form is Andaman and Nicobar, this one. Now if I select this, I have to say the whatever name is given as A and Islands, it represents Andaman and Nicobar. If you see, there's only one issue left. The second one is also the same. It says Chhattisgarh. So if I type here as C-H-A, C-H-H-A, that is the Chhattisgarh. Select this and now if you see, there's no issue which is left here. Why this happens? Sometimes the names of the locations are incorrect, the spelling mistake. Sometimes the database which you have might be older database. Now every, sometimes you see the names of the states are changing, the names of the places are changing. So every now and then, these are the current locations. It will be directly connected to your Google itself. So you have to map with the older database that this newer database and older database should be matched properly. Now these are the matching locations with your data. If you observe here, now it is fine. We'll click on OK. And if you observe, now I'm getting the map of India, which is specific here. What we are trying to find out, this dot represents these are the different states in detail. Okay, these are the names which are, I mean the dots which are given here. We are trying to find out the number of national parks. So if you want to find out, so what I can do is I can find out the national parks which is given. If you observe here, that is national parks which is given as number. It is in the form of text. But I want this should be in the form of a number measure. So I'll just click on this drop down and select as number hole at this place. So if you see number hole, I can just shift into this place itself. Now, if you observe, there's a number which is given as num national parks, which are number. I can pick up this national parks number and put into the labels part. Now, if you observe here, the number of different places and it says five in this location, four in this location, six. What is the number saying as? The number says number of national parks which are given here. Now, it, it looks good, but if I want to make it much more better, I can use this option which is national parks. I'll remove this sum of national parks. 
pick up this national parks and put into the colors part now if you see i'm getting a clear picture the highest the number that is 9 it is saying as darker blue color in this place there are a maximum number of national parks the lighter blue color if you see there are less number of national parks but still along with the color if you want to see the numbers also so again i'll pick up this national parks number put into the labels part now you see maximum is given in this 9 that is in this place what is the name of this area again if you want you can pick up this states and union territories and put into this label part so it says in the madhya pradesh that's a state name in that place you have nine different national parks which are given here so it is easy to analyze but if, if you want to change the color you can just select this option color click on edit colors click on this drop down and you can select as some other good color here sunrise sunset apply and if you observe the color is different here now it says the lesser number it is in the blue color if you see here the lesser the number the, that's in the blue color the the darker if you see that's a different colors it has the maximum one so i'll just click on ok now it is saying as number of national parks which are given i'll put into the slideshow mode and it is easy to understand with the help of this diagram or you can see the map rather than using your database itself so i'll just press escape and come back let us see one more it takes hardly 30 to 40 seconds to create this kind of map let us see that now i'll be showing you how to create a national park area that is state wise it's very simple so national park area state wise select this one double click on state and union territories i don't have to do any settings here so i want to find out area state wise national parks area put into the colors national parks area put into the labels so now what i want is i want states into the labels now i want to change the color here if you observe colors i'll pick up from here sunset and sunrise apply okay done so 30 seconds not more than that i hope you have understood that's all for this video